It's the time of the green poison pandemic. Except this time we're not in New York City. We're in Washington DC. The best protected city on earth with the most amount of government officials and military personnel. At the time, critical personnel are evacuated to underground bunkers, but the virus wasn't to be stopped. 27 days after the first patient got sick, Washington fell. It started with riots on K Street, after which there were shooting in the National Mall, and Washington was abandoned by its government. Six months after the green poison pandemic, in the middle of summer, nice change of scenery, Washington DC is on the brink of collapse. Survivors of the pandemic settled in communities where they grow food and patrol their borders with rifles. But the communities are under constant siege as lawlessness and instability threaten the American society. Besides that, there are rumors of a coup in the capital. There are various factions that are looking to take power and aiming to claim DC's future for themselves. One of those factions are called the True Sons. It's a group of paramilitary warlords bent on using their combat expertise and overwhelming firepower to dominate their enemies and expand their territory. They are led by a former JTF officer whose ruthlessness and combat prowess make him and his combatants a scary opponent. All agents from the Strategic Homeland Division are sent to Washington DC to save the city before America plunges into a new civil war. But how can we do that when the enemies come from within? Let's talk a bit about the world. Washington DC is a one-to-one -one representation of the real city, making it even more authentic than the first installment. We're going to see all landmarks, natural landscapes, neighborhoods and enemy hideouts. We already saw some familiar areas like Children's Garden, Penn Quarter Station and of course Capitol Hill, where the true sons have settled. The world seems to combine urban with nature, plus as we saw it's the middle of summer, six months after the last one. One thing I want to mention, though it looked like a forest, the greenery at the start of the gameplay footage was in a botanical garden, not in a forest in any way. So it might be that it's mostly urban with a little bit of nature in between. Even though we only scratched the surface, it looked like an immersive world with animals, communities of people and enemy factions to oppose you. There is too much to talk about, like weapons, gear, skills, the stats, enemy factions, a new HUD, 8 player raids and much much more. You better be sure we're going to cover all that, but we want to wait until Ubisoft has shown us everything they have during their E3 2018 press conference tonight. One thing is for sure, I'm super excited and in a few hours they will reveal even more information and gameplay on The Division 2. I'll be on top of it. Before ending the video, I want to know, what are your thoughts on the newly released trailer and gameplay? What stood out to you the most? With that, I'm leaving you. Thank you for watching and peace out.